The Butler Bulldogs played the Cincinnati Bearcats at Hinkle Fieldhouse on Saturday. Um, it was a heck of a game. Butler ended up winning 75-65. to It was my first Butler basketball game of the season. I was at the game, and the big surprise was how many people from Cincinnati showed up. I'd say about 30 to 40 percent of the crowd was Bearcats fans, and it was quite impressive to see. They were very loud during the game. Unfortunately, my seats happened to be right in the middle of the Cincinnati student section. The seemed like they brought the entire student section. They were loud. They were annoying, just as you would expect. Um, you know, pretty. There was some chants that they were doing that were kind of not very classy. But then again, you know, if if it was your team, you wouldn't think so. But uh, anyway, Butler did win 90. Or I'm sorry, 75 to 65. Uh, it was a very good game. Halftime tied up at 35, but you know both teams shot the ball pretty decently in the first half. Second half, uh, not so much. Both teams shot under 40% in the second half. Uh, three pointers fell in the first half. In the second half, neither team could really do very well there. Butler won this game at the free throw line. They had, uh, excuse me. Butler won, uh, was 21 of 26 from the free throw line in this game for 80.8%. Cincinnati was only able to get to the free throw line 13 times in this game, and they only hit seven of them. So when you hit more free throws than the other team shot, there you go. Um, Butler, I thought, played very well. Got out-rebounded by one, but that's not a big deal. Gave up 11 offensive rebounds. They had seven of their own. But Butler looked like they were really going through their offense this time, uh, not settling for a lot of stupid shots. I think putting Keelan Martin on the bench, our star player, having him start on the bench, kind of woke him up and saw that he needs to stop forcing things and let the game come to him to trust his teammates to be able to score as well. Um, and, and it worked out well for him. And he was able to score a lot of points because uh, the defense, you know, had to react to everybody rather than just him. And he ended up getting 20 points for his efforts in this game. Uh, 6 of 14 from the field, 3 of 7 behind the three-point line. They, th they shared the, the ball very well. Um, a lot of assists in this game, 13 for Butler. 12 points for Andrew Shrabis. He had 5 points for, the, you know, for being a big guy. Um, then he had several guys that came close to getting double digits and scoring. He had Tyler Lewis with 9 points, Kamar Baldwin with 8 points, Sean McDermott with 7 points, Nate Fowler with 9 points. <clears throat> I think the one of the shocking things about the game play itself was there weren't very many turnovers in this game. There were 14 turnovers total, and a lot of teams, that's what they do in one game. Now, if you play West Virginia, you do that in one half. But Butler had six turnovers in this game. They only had one turnover over the final 26 minutes of the game, you know, and there's 40 minutes in a game. So uh, Cincinnati had eight turnovers. But I think this game really came down to uh, Butler just being aggressive uh, playing very well defensively, um, driving to the bucket, kicking it out to guys for open shots, and getting to the free throw line more is what won the game for them. So, very impressed, like I said, with the effort. Uh, that moves us to 9-1 and one on the season. And we just fell back two spots to number 18 in the rankings, and I think that's because of the Indiana State loss. I'm sure it is, actually. But now we've got the big game. Um, big Brother Indiana is playing Butler on Saturday at Banker's Life Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. We've got the Crossroads Classic, uh, played every year. They rotate the games. So one year it's IU and Butler and Purdue and Notre Dame, and then the next year it's Purdue and Butler and IU and Notre Dame. But yeah, the big game, number nine, Indiana, number 18, Butler. Uh, I think Butler is very capable of winning this game. It's gonna take a total team effort, uh, good shooting and a good defensive effort because IU, we all know, has a lot of shooters and a lot of great players on the team. And supposedly, OG Ananobi will be back from his injury, so that thing, that'll make things tougher as well. But Butler has shown that they come to play in this event and they come to play against Indiana or against Purdue, no matter who it is that they're playing. Butler doesn't like to be overlooked, and they see Indiana and Purdue as like the two, you know, the they're at the top of this pedestal, and Butler's trying to prove that they're right there with them and that they shouldn't be overlooked in this state or in the country or anything like that. So hopefully we can get the win on Saturday. Not going to be easy. I'm not going to make a prediction. I think it could go either way. So, But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.